wow, that's a lot of hair. Like, how do you, how do you deal with it? Like, is that your hair? Can I feel it? Well, you're not really black. Or like, I just really love the fro. It's just so exotic. My name is Namichi Oliva. I am 22 years old and I am Puerto Rican and Cuban. There was once a time where I actually associated with being more African American because appearance wise, like people usually assume I'm black or you know, Dominican or something, but I didn't get that till more East Coast. I grew up in Los Angeles, California. I went to an all Catholic girls high school. My graduating class was 74. There were about 12 black girls. I felt a huge separation with the girls who were completely black in high school and the girls who were Spanish in high school. I didn't know any other Puerto Rican girls. I didn't know any other Cuban girls. I was confusing. And people looked at me and they were confused. You know, people looked at me and they were like, I mean, what do we use her for? How do we place her? Where does she fit? It was a very hard thing to deal with. It was very difficult for me to talk about it with my mom too because my mom was fair skinned. There was less questioning when it came to her. Society has done a very good job at kind of filtering and whitewashing what it means to be a Latina. You know, you look at people like Sofia Vergara, but uh, she's not the only one. You know, the media is a bit late in the game on showing that there are different types of Latina women. Social media has definitely been a huge factor into, into the discovery that is my natural hair and that is my identity as, a, as an African-American, Latina, Boricua. It was 2013, I'm in high school, about to graduate, and I'd already been pretty set on going out of state. That was something that I decided to do for more reasons than just this kind of emptiness that I was feeling with relating to anybody really, or relating to anyone. But almost instantaneously, I met a lot of strong women and strong Caribbean women. I found women who looked like me, and, you know, who had a figure, but they still had their tummy, you know, who had boobs, but they kind of hung a little, you know, their hair was curly, but it was like a jagged type of curl and never really falls completely in a loop. And that's just something that's very empowering. I am the woman that I am today and I can claim being a Latina. I can claim being a woman who is bilingual and I will just switch it up out of nowhere and just start speaking Spanish for the abuelo, you know, like I just, it's, it's, it's this proudness that I feel that I couldn't have gotten in California. Although, you know, California is a very liberal and accepting state, just because you're accepting doesn't mean you understand. You know what I mean? Just because you are aware of something doesn't mean that like, you know what it means to, to have to spend 30 plus dollars on products, not because I want to, because I'm testing stuff out, but because if I don't, my hair will be to the ceiling. I went through some pretty shitty products that caked my hair up, that weighed it down, that, you know, the, the texture of the curl was in rate, and it's a process. It's like, it's like when you find your style, like, it's with anything. You can literally apply going natural to anything. It's a process and it's a commitment and you have to really want it because the rewards are just magnificent, but you have to really want it because it's so much easier to just pay someone $40 to straighten my hair and I'm good to go. I want to be seen as a person that isn't just like, oh, I'm just this attraction, I'm just this cool exotic friend you bring around. To show people that you have like, that you have diverse friend groups. Like, It's like really hard for me sometimes to not feel insecure about that just because I've had instances where people have used me in that way. And it's cool, like, I don't care, you can, we can talk about my hair, you can feel my hair, I ain't tripping. Just like, don't just make an executive decision without me because like I put a lot of product in this hair and like it's not fully dry yet like just whoa over there that's enough that's how I feel about the situation <laughs>